What's up, everybody? What's up? So I'm back again with another R. Kelly video. However, before I get into that, let me just say, if you like this video, please share it. I'm actually relying on the people who likes the content and who love my channel. I'm relying on you guys to keep my channel alive. So if you like this video, share it. Uh, recently, I lost access to my Twitter account. They wanted personal information. At this time, I really don't want to give it to them. And uh, just in general, YouTube changed its algorithm, so it's difficult for me to get a lot of views uh, the way I used to because of you know the changing of the algorithm. So uh, I'm relying on you. If you like the content, definitely share it. Um, other things uh, I should just say is that... Um, some people may not like this video. Um, I'm just going to say that someone requested that I make this video, so I decided to make it. Uh, however, I've made a similar video, and that video was called How Much Time R. Kelly Would Get If He Loses, but that was actually for the Illinois trial. This video is going to be for the New York trial, so the title should be somewhere around how much time R. Kelly will get if he loses his New York case. But in general, I find when I made the first video, there were a lot of disgruntled supporters. And I can understand that and I respect that. But one thing we need to keep in mind is that we probably should be a little realistic. Uh, we can see how this case is going we can see that there's been a lot of unfairness in this case and we can see that r kelly is being dragged through social media in order to get a he's being dragged through social social media being persecuted in order to get a prosecution right so we can see a lot of unfairness and a lot of uh, violations so it's not unrealistic to expect that there's a possibility that he could be found guilty, right? So with that in mind, I wanted to make a video to kind of give people a general idea of what he could be looking at. Now, first and foremost, we should all be aware that there's a process to giving people time, right? You know, the first thing is that the person is found guilty then after that person is found guilty, they have a chance to reduce the amount of time that they would receive. And I did a video on this process, which is called the post-conviction process. And I'll try to remember to put a link of that video above. But if I don't, you may want to go to my YouTube page and just look up the post-conviction proceeding or... I think it's Title Seven post-convictions or something like that. But a key word is post-conviction. So if, and I'm not saying R. Kelly is going to lose, I'm saying if he loses, then the this video is going to be kind of a guess, right? If he loses, this video is a guess of how much time he could receive. And I say it's a guess because the, there's no telling what's going to happen in that post-conviction proceeding. There's no telling what the judge is going to do when it comes down to passing out the sentence. And, you know, there, there's just no telling in a lot of this stuff. So what I've done in this video is that I've gotten the minimum and maximum time that uh, could be awarded for each individual charge, right? So it's that's how this video is done, right? You know, so if you have any questions, definitely put your comments below. If you basically don't like the fact that I made this video, uh, definitely comment below and uh, tell me why. Again, I know there's a lot of supporters out there that thinks that videos like this are too negative. I don't really think they're too negative. It's reality. If you're in R. Kelly's situation, you would want to consider the possibility of losing and what your strategy would be uh, if you did lose, right? Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into this video. It shouldn't take that long. So uh, first off, there are certain words that we just can't say, right? You know, so 
we're going to mix words up and we're going to, you know, probably say something like pot lean or something like that uh, for the words that we can't say. Uh, but essentially everyone knows the context of the charges and they, they, they know what's going on. Uh, if you're joining this for the first time, uh, you want to make sure you're, if, if, if you're following up on the R. Kelly trial for the first time, I'm sorry, you probably want to make sure that you uh, enlarge the font so that you can actually see the words uh, in this video. Uh, but otherwise, you can just uh, listen alone if uh, you're not really that concerned with the actual uh, text in this video. Like a lot of videos I do typically are text heavy. And if you're listening on your phone, I try to shoot the video where the text doesn't matter. You can just listen along. But if you want to see the text, you're going to have to make sure you have the caption set uh, to the largest font as possible, or the, the view set to the largest uh, view as possible, right? So let's go ahead and get into it. So basically what I've did or done is that I have a section for the actual charges. It looks like there's about, let's see here. It looks like there's about, uh, I'd say about 25 actual charges, right? And when I say the charges, I'm not talking about the actual counts. I'm talking about the actual charges that's in, in the indictment. And in addition to that, what I've done is that I've given an explanation of the charge. And I recorded the minimum time that an individual could get. And I recorded the maximum time that the individual could get. And I also noted whether or not there was a life sentence possibility. So now this is going to be a little tricky because there's one particular charge where it just says 20 or life, right, for the maximum time. So it was re recorded that way. Then other times it said uh, basically maximum of life, but it doesn't mean that you would get life. So I, I would say this is something that's actually going to be a little funky. So I just said 80, right, 80 years as opposed to life. I could have changed those to, you know, 50 or whatever, but I, I felt 80 was a good number. So it's either life or or 80, right, from my perspective. There's no rhyme or reason why I ch chose the number 80. I just wanted to get a number that was less than life, and basically I chose 80 for whatever reason, right? You know, so um, if you wanted to, I have about, uh, what what is that, four of those? Right. You know, so you could uh, basically reduce the sentence, uh, the maximum sentence by those four. But anyway, without further ado, let's just continue on. Uh, the other thing I noted is that, you know, the stakes are pretty high. As you can see uh, in this actual case, the stakes are going to be pretty high. And one of the things that I noticed, it's not actually a criminal. Uh, what, what do you call it? It's not actually a. A you know uh, it's not something whereby he would receive a certain amount of time, but the stakes are high because if he loses this case, they are going to try to impose Title 18 United States Code Section 1963A, which is basically a criminal forfeiture of assets. And in my personal opinion, if he loses on any one of these charges, they get to go after his assets. And if they take his assets, and I've said this several, uh, several times, he's going to be in a position where he would pretty much have to accept a public defender, right? And, you know, people hear rumors about public defenders and how they don't typically do a good job and they just want uh, their clients to cop a plea. I'm not saying that that's actually the case for all public defenders. But that's the, the the rumors that are out there, right? That, you know, public defenders, I think people say public defenders are actually public uh, pretenders. and They don't really do a good job, you know. So it's important to know that they're going to try to take his assets because that's what he could be left with when it comes down to appealing this case. And then when it comes down to maybe going back to Illinois to fight the federal case in Illinois and then also fight the, the state case. In Chicago. So the stakes are pretty high. 
uh, in this case. Not only is he looking at an extreme amount of time, but he's also looking at losing any and all of his assets in which he could use to basically fight his case, you know, so it's, it's, it's going to be uh, pretty tough, you know, if, if he loses right now, again, I'm not being negative. Um, I'm basically, you know, talking from a theoretical perspective. Uh, I'm not being negative. I'm not saying he's going to lose. I'm not alleging that he's going to lose. We're just looking at one possible outcome of what would happen or could happen if he did lose, right? That's all we're doing here, right? Uh, No need to uh, think that I'm being negative here because I'm not, right? You know, so there's a a lot of other strange things I saw in the indictment. Just to let you guys know, I read the entire indictment and I should be releasing a legal analysis video uh, sometime in the future. And in some aspects, you could say this is a legal analysis. This is pretty much what I would have done in the end of the legal analysis series. But, uh, you know, someone requested it and me being naive, I thought it'd be easy to do. It turned out it wasn't easy to do and it ate up a pretty huge chunk of my bedtime. So I'm going to try to get through this quickly. So in terms of the actual charges, I think what we'll do is that we'll skip those and we'll just read the explanation of the charges. So if you actually want to know, for whatever strange reason, the actual code he's being charged with, I'll highlight, I'll try to remember to highlight the entire row, and you can see what I'm talking about, and then you can go and look up the code yourself if you think that I've gotten it wrong, right? So getting started, the first charge is essentially racketeering, and strangely enough, he can receive uh, up to zero time, or he can get 20 years, or he could actually get life, right? And the next charge is going to be mexual exploitation of potlings. You guys can see this here, right? Uh, but, oh, Jesus, one second here. I clicked off the screen by accident. Uh, so you can see what uh, the code is for mexual exploitation of potlings, and you can see what that actually is. And for that, he would get uh, 15 to 30 years, right? Now, another thing I need to just say up front is that some of these charges were repeated throughout the indictment. And it means that there, there are different instances of the same charge. So you could get time for the same charge uh, because it appeared multiple times in the actual indictment or in, it appeared in different counts, right? So just moving on, the next possible charge is transportation for illegal activities and related c- crimes. Uh, this is basically going to be a charge for transporting individuals across basically uh, state lines. And we're looking at anywhere from zero to 10 years that he could possibly receive. The next charge is going to be coercion and enticement of a potling. And again, you know, I mean, I know it sounds funny, but, you know, that's the best word to use. Uh, But you can actually see what's here if you're really that concerned over the actual wording. And then you can also look up the actual code, but it's uh, coercion and enticement of a potling. And this one was actually tricky because the the minimum time is 10 years and the maximum time is life. It didn't really say what the time could be other than life. So like I said, I guessed it and I put 80 in there. I'm actually going to change these and put, uh, let's just put uh, 30 years in there, right? Uh, Because it's, 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 it's kind of a weird situation. We don't know what they're going to choose, right? If if there is a conviction, we don't know what the judge would actually choose, but we'll be 30 years just to make the numbers a little bit um, easier to deal with or to make the numbers go down a little bit, right? So coercion and enticement of a pot lien is basically going to be 10 to 30 years or 10 to life, right? And it's in the way the statute was written, it was actually written 10 to life, but 
it doesn't, you know, it gives me no idea of uh, what could be in between 10 and life, right? You know, so we're just going to choose 30, right? And here's a charge that I actually found strange. Some people were actually saying that they were threatened and then they were for forced to work. And this is the first time I'm hearing this, right? You know, so he ended up with a forced labor charge. And I'm going to highlight this role so that you can actually see the code, which is 1589, Title 18, United States Code, Section 1589A. And that's forced labor. And again, I just thought it just kind of crazy of how you can find this type of charge in this case. I've not heard of anybody saying that they were forced to work. But lo and behold, that allegation is in the indictment. Uh, this one I'm just kind of curious on. If anyone has any insight, any information over the forced labor charge, please put your comments below. Uh, I definitely would like to hear details on the uh, forced labor. Uh, again, there are some allegations in the indictment, but the allegations are very light, right? It just essentially says that uh, and the and the cases where it appeared, it just says that they were forced to, you know, do labor and they were forced to work. If they didn't uh, work, then they were threatened or something like that. Or they were threatened with bodily harm or something of that nature, right? But I just found this odd. You know, I, I, no one ever talked about this. Uh, I don't know if they just threw it in because they're trying to hit them with everything uh, but the kitchen sink, and they just try, they're just they just trying to see what sticks. I, I don't know. I mean, but uh, again, if you have any knowledge or information on this, comments below. But anyway, that zero to, ten, uh, zero to 20 years, right? Then we come down. There is another charge for uh, mexual, uh, mexual exploitation of a pot lane. And this one is uh, 50, uh, 15 to 30 years. And strangely enough, there were there was no life sentence attached to this, right? It's different. Yeah, so so there that's that. We've already covered it. No need to keep talking about that. And then we have another charge, transportation for illegal activities and related crimes. That's going to be zero to ten. Uh, next, we have uh, coercion and enticement which we, it looks like we already covered, but we haven't. This one is just coercion and enticement, uh, which is zero to 20 years, which is going to be different from the first one that we covered, which was, so this one is 2422A. The other one was 22, I mean, the other one was 2422B, which is different, but in the same section for the criminal, um, description, right? The first one was coercion and enticement of a pot lane, and this one is just coercion and enticement, right? Then we have another transportation for illegal activities and related crimes, zero to ten, zero to ten years for that. Uh, we have another coercion and enticement, zero to twenty, and then we have another coercion and enticement of a pot lane, 10 years to life, or I'm throwing 30 years in there just in case they decide not to do life. They could do 30 years. It could be more. I'm just throwing 30 in, 30 in because it seems like a, you know, a good number. Doesn't seem too high, too low. But again, we have no idea of what will actually be awarded. As I said before, there is a criminal, a post-conviction proceeding. If he was actually lose, he would go through that and there's lots of opportunities to get any number reduced. So if if he potentially would have gotten life, he could go through the criminal post-conviction procedure and he could probably get uh, that life move all the way down from anywhere from 10 to 20. Who knows? God knows, right? And we have another charge, transportation of potlings, right? And transportation of pot liens is going to basically uh, have a minimum sentence of 10 uh, to life. But again, this is another one of those where it only mentions 10 to life. But there's always a possibility that he could get more than 10 but less than life. So we threw 30 years in there. 
again, I have no idea of how much time he'll actually get, but we know for that charge, but we know it could be 10 to life if he loses, right? Then we have another mexual exploitation of pot lanes. That's going to be 15 to 30 years, right? Uh, again, we have another forced labor charge that's going to be 0 to 20. And transportation for illegal activities and related crimes, again, 0 to 10. Another coercion and enticement, 0 to 20. Another forced labor, which again, I, I just don't see forced labor being in this. If you have any information on the forced labor charges, Definitely leave your comments below, but forced labor, 0 to 20. And then we also have transportation for illegal activities and related crimes. This pops up a couple of times. This is going to be 0 to 10. Coercion and enticement, again, 0 to 20. Transportation for illegal activities. And we got one, two, three of those. That's going to be 0 to 10. And we also have transportation of potlings again 10 to life or we're throwing 30 in there just as a guess and the last two are coercion and enticement and again you can see transportation for illegal activities several times but the last two coercion and enticement zero to 20 years right so a lot like i said a lot of the stuff was redundant in this uh video um, I, I, maybe I should have chosen a better way to deal with that. But anyway, so if he was to be convicted on all of these charges, and I'm not saying he will be, uh, I hope and pray that he wins, but worst case scenario, if he's convicted of all these charges, he would be looking at, um, a minimum time. Of, and actually, this minimum time is is not correct, right? You know, because again, the some of it is is a situation where there's a a locked in minimum, right? Which you can see here, it's like fifteen, ten. The you 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 can't get you you must get at least ten or fifteen in those situations. But uh, a lot of situations there were actually you know no requirement, right? You know, so eighty five is not a good number because it could be more than 85 right you know so when we're calculating the minimum we don't know that they're just going to say okay we're going to give you zero time for racketeering right we don't know that they're going to say we're not going to give you any time for transporting uh transport for illegal activities and related crimes we don't know right forced labor we don't know that they're going to give him zero time for that right they could you know give him anything in, in anywhere from zero to 20 right but the number I have with the required minimums is 85 years, right? You know, so the required minimum time, if he's convicted of everything, is 85 years. But, of course, it could be possibly more depending on whether or not they would give him time for any of these other offenses uh, if he loses, right? So the maximum time. And again, all of this is just guesswork, right? You know, uh, I'm not a lawyer. I haven't been to law school. I should have said that at the beginning of the video. I'm not a lawyer. I haven't been to law school. And I am just using my common sense and I'm reading the indictments and I'm, you know, researching stuff on the internet. And this is how I'm coming up with the information to present to you, right? You know, so of course, if you want to get this actual information from a lawyer, then you can go and reach out to a lawyer. But nine times out of 10, they're probably going to do close to the same thing that I've just done. Uh, if you're a lawyer and you think you can do better, go ahead and do better, right? Uh, otherwise, this is what I think. I think um, when you look at the maximum time, uh, again, if he is convicted of all these charges, uh, the maximum time notwithstanding the situation where we threw 30 years in there because we're just really throwing in a placeholder uh in the event he gets uh he could get the minimum required time of 10 years or he can get less than life right you know so what would that number be we have no idea of how to calculate that number 
that's going to be calculated in the post-conviction proce proceedings. Uh, you know, so, and that's all going to depend whether or not uh, R. Kelly cooperates, so on and so forth, right? But the maximum time that I have is 490 years, right? 490 years he could potentially receive, uh, you know, if they were to give him the maximum time, right? And again, when I say maximum time, uh, the sections where you see life is kind of a really, it's really guesswork because well, all of it is guesswork, but um, the, the, the sections where you see life by it, it's, it's hard to really say what the maximum time could be other than life because of the way the, the law was written, right? So we're looking at a 490 years, could be more, could be less, but uh, essentially we're looking at 490 years if he's convicted of all charges. Now, another possible outcome is that he can get life in several charges and it appears there are four char five charges carrying five life sentences. So if he was convicted on all those, he would potentially get five life sentences. So that's pretty much it for this video. Let me know what you think. Do you think uh, I'm close? Do you think I'm way off? Do you think I'm on point? Um, again, I think a lot of this is going to depend on the post-conviction proceeding. Hopefully there's a link up top or I'll link, put a link to the video on the end. Uh, and of course, a lot of it can, uh, depends on whether or not he's convicted. If he's not convicted, then of course he wouldn't get any time, right? Um, so I'm not being negative and I'm not trying to, you know, piss off the supporters. And I'm, you know, so I just think that a video like this is due. Uh, because you want to look at all the possible outcomes. And one of the possible outcomes is that he could lose. Now, again, I'm not saying he's going to lose. Again, I'm not being negative. Uh, I'm just looking at one of the possible outcomes. Uh, thanks for watching. And again, if you are a fan and you like this video, please share it. And of course, if you are not a member, please subscribe uh, to my channel.